Hello everybody, welcome back to Cannonball Cottage. Today we're going to make um, a beef stroganoff. Here in this pan we've got some onions just starting to sweat down. And then I'll just run you through the rest of the ingredients. We have some garlic, in fact I'll, I'll put that in now. In goes the garlic. We, we have some sirloin steak, uh, two sirloin steaks which I've removed the fat and I've sliced it into uh, strips. We've got some paprika, smoked paprika and um, one half a teaspoon of chili flakes. You don't have to put the chili flakes in, this is just my preference, I, I quite like a little bit of heat. We've got some butter, we've got some black pepper, we've got some salt, we've got some uh, cornstarch there just in case we need to thicken up. Uh, we've got some yoghurt rather than sour cream. I've got some uh, Greek yoghurt, we've got some flat leaf parsley and we have some mushrooms. So, to start with now, uh, while these onions are beginning to sweat down. I'm now going to put the steak into this other pan and uh, just let that brown off. You can see it's not overcrowded so that should just nicely brown off. And a bit of this. I'm now going to put the mushrooms in, into this pan. Um, I'm going to turn that down slightly. And we just need to get the moisture out of the mushrooms. They're coming along nicely now. That, that, that won't take too long at all, this, this steak. Um, now we've got these mushrooms. I'm going to actually put a little bit of salt to try and bring out the moisture from the mushrooms. And also I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in. And then we're also going to put the paprika and the chili flakes. Get rid of that one as well. And we'll just Oh, I don't know, I forgot to mention the, uh, the stock um, that we're going to use. I forgot to mention that I've got some stock here, some beef stock, and I've also got some um, parsley stalks in the beef stock. When I chop the parsley up, I always use up the, the stalks. And... Uh, is coming along nicely. I'll just see if the uh, steak needs turning. It's not too bad, it's just changing colour slightly. You don't need to overdo it. This uh, paprika is creating a fantastic smell. Wonderful. And you can see that this steak is beginning to change colour slightly. That's all we need, we just need to get that sorted. Got a little bit of, I'm just going to add a little bit of moisture to that pan. Just to get it going. And as you can see now how the uh, mushrooms are reducing nicely and in a few minutes what I'm going to do is um, swap pans. Once this is done here I'm actually going to transfer everything into the steak, into the steak pan. But first I'm just going to deglaze this pan 
and then we'll bring that uh, pan with the with the beef in across here. Look at that how it just takes all the everything off the bottom of the pan, actually cleans the pan. Um, and there you have it, great, that's a fantastic base. Um, in fact I might bring the meat over to this pan. I don't want to lose any uh, anything off the base of the pan, that's what I'm concerned about. But I think that's what we'll do. I'm actually going to put the onions and the mushrooms into this pan to finish the stroganoff off. That's easy to say. And I'll just move this across here. There you go. And we'll get some heat on this now to create the sauce. You can add, I suppose to some degree, add as much um, paprika in as you like, if depending on, well, how much you like it, for, for one thing, and also secondly, it can change the color somewhat. So the more you put in, the redder the uh, finished meal becomes. And uh, there you go, we'll now add some more stock in here to get to uh, raise the heat to bring that up to the boil. This is quite a quick method. Some people actually use a uh, braising steak rather than a fillet steak or a sirloin steak. They'll use um, a braising steak and then they just leave it in the pan to braise for about an hour or so. Uh, it depends on what method you prefer. Um, there's also a, still an argument whether it's stroganoff ending in O-F-F -F or stroganoff ending in O-V. Um, I don't think there's any correct method or, or way of spelling. As long as the meal comes out how you like it then that's all you need. Keep on adding the stock bit by bit to try and keep up the temperature. Um, I'm now I'm going to add some parsley, this is flat leaf parsley, into it, into the mix, just to uh, give it some more added flavour. Need this to come to temperature. There you go, that's the last of the stock. And I've spilled this parsley. Um, and as always, keep your work area clean and tidy. There you go. We've got this lovely sauce. Turn it down slightly. Um, now I'm going to add some yogurt rather than uh, sour cream to it. This is a Greek yogurt let's put that there in my dish there and you can as you can see that's changed the color completely wonderful absolutely wonderful I think I'll just take a bit of a taste to see if I've got enough yogurt in there 
Mm-mm. Very nice. I'm gonna put a little bit more yogurt in. And then because it's, and then now I'm gonna thicken it slightly with this uh, slurry that we've got here. Enough. We're just going to put some in and just trial and error, really. See how much that, how that goes. Just spill some here. See how this pans out. It's really thickened it. I'm going to turn that down slightly again. Should have run away slightly. I'm now going to give it a, another taste. Before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit more butter to uh, give it that glossy finish. Um, throw that one away. Now, as we're getting near to the end of it now, it's now cho your choice as to how much more salt and pepper or any other seasoning that you wish to put in it. Now that the butter's disappeared, I'm gonna give it another taste and uh, to see if it's, it needs any more seasoning. Hmm. No, no it doesn't. Again, for me, for my liking, that's absolutely spot on, absolutely perfect. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely perfect. So now what I'm going to do, I've just got a dish behind me and I'm just going to put some rice and I'm also going to put some some of the stroganoff along with the rice you could actually serve it with pasta your choice really however you want to serve it um, There you have absolutely wonderful. Um, just wipe the dish. Move this out of the way so you can view it better. And there you have beef stroganoff, beef and mushroom stroganoff. Cannonball cottage style. I hope you like it. And I'm going to give it one more try. Just to make sure. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, I hope you like it. 
I hope you try it. Hope you like what you've seen. Um, if you do like what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up and share. Also, subscribe and click on that bell to get notifications of uh, new recipes. And please leave a comment. And if you have any queries, I'll get back to you. Um, thanks for watching and enjoy.